G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today's fish feature is on the Centropyg bispinosa, also known as the Coral Beauty. We're gonna tell you all about this interesting fish and what it takes to keep it in your reef aquarium. The Coral Beauty has a very large distribution and so there are a lot of varieties and they differ in their colour forms but in general the Coral Beauty has got a purple uh, outer rim with an internal coloration of orange and they, some of them are particularly beautifully coloured fish. They're only a relatively small fish, they get to around about uh, four or five inches, so 10, 11, 12 centimeters, and they are definitely a beautiful addition to your reef aquarium. Here at Gallery Aquatica Salisbury, we have both this larger specimen and a smaller one that we'll show you in a sec. And they have a wide variety of uh, food that they will take. They're a relatively easy fish to feed in your reef aquarium. Um, typically we feed a variety of frozen and prepared foods. So certainly frozen brine shrimp and mysis. There are some uh, specialized angel foods on the market which are particularly good. Uh, they have a variety of other things that are nutritionally beneficial to your coral beauties, but also dry foods uh, like flake and pellets. Now, I would typically try and include a fairly uh, good proportion of vegetable matter in their diet, and that can be in the form of uh, like spirulina and algae flakes or um, like marine green frozen foods. So let's have a look at this smaller specimen and we'll talk about the types of tanks that you would keep the coral beauty in. We have this little specimen in here um, and he's probably about four or five centimeters, so you know, almost two inches. And this is the size that I particularly like um, to go for when it comes to the coral beauties because you can put them in uh, most tanks and they'll be okay. They're also, um, it gives them an opportunity to grow in your aquarium. It's nice to be able to see your fish starting out as juveniles and then growing into to bigger fish. But when they're this size, you can keep them in relatively small tanks. And uh, I would feel comfortable keeping a coral beauty in a tank which is around about uh, 100 litres, so about uh, 25 gallons. And you can certainly have them in very large aquariums as well, ensuring there's nothing which is going to be too aggressive towards the coral beauty. I typically recommend uh, a single uh, dwarf angel like the coral beauty in most relatively small tanks. But if you have a larger tank, you can put in multiples, but they are some, uh, sometimes aggressive towards each other. Um, we will often have a uh, coral beauty in a tank with like a, a bicolor angel or a flame angel or something like that. And they're normally okay if you've got uh, enough cover. It's important to have uh, rocks and uh, a nice interesting environment with caves and such for the coral beauty, as well as other angels. They do like to, to hide and be able to duck in under the rocks. Probably the most contentious issue with the coral beauty is the fact that they can be a little bit prone to picking at certain corals. And I would be uh, a bit cautious about adding a coral beauty to a tank with uh, expensive LPS corals. Things like uh, scollies and trackies and dash and maybe candy canes, Duncan, some things like that will occasionally be picked at by the coral beauty. I do typically find that they're, uh, they're okay with corals, but you, you, know, you do hear some people saying that they've caused some problems. It's more a, a curiosity the way they, they pick at the corals. They don't really, typically I find they don't really destroy the corals, but um, that's definitely the most important consideration when choosing a coral beauty for your tank is the types of corals that you have in there. So let's talk about the difficulty rating of the coral beauty. Now we have a rating system in which we rate fish on the difficulty from one to 10. One is the easiest to keep, 10 being the most difficult. And the coral beauty is definitely a four. And the reason why I would suggest it's a four and actually not easier, like a three or a two, is because of the fact that they are a little bit prone to certain diseases. And angelfish in general are, are quite prone to protozoan diseases, white spot and velvet. And if there is any white spot or velvet in your system, you typically will find that the angels will be the first to suffer and die from that. 
but otherwise they are a hardy fish and they do definitely take well to uh, frozen and prepared foods. They're very, um, their temperament is easy and predictable in most reef aquariums. Um, so just ensure that you have a good quarantine protocol and you shouldn't have any problems with the coral beauty. The Coral Beauty certainly is a beautiful and readily available little angelfish and definitely one of the classic aquarium fish, ideal for small tanks and large tanks. But that's it for today's fish focus on the Coral Beauty. Hopefully you've learned a little something about these beautiful little fish. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.